Hi, welcome to my table. You ready for today's activity? Okay, let's go over the materials. I have a small jar of really hot water and there's a rock at the bottom. I'll get to that later. I have a bigger jug full of cold water, a chopstick for stirring, and red and yellow food coloring. And so today we're going to explore hot water mixing in cold water and see what happens by making a little volcano. I like volcanoes. Do you know how many syllables are in volcano? Volcano three. Okay, so first I'm going to mix red and yellow together in my hot water. Do you know what color that's going to make? Well, let's find out. So I'm going to add a couple drops of red. few more of yellow. Whoop. I'm going to stir it up. Is that the color you guessed? Did you guess orange? Well done. So red and yellow makes orange. The rock is at the bottom to make this jug a little bit heavier because I'm going to drop it into this one and see what happens when I mix the hot water in with the cold. You ready? Okay, I'm gonna pull my sleeves up. You might need a mommy and a daddy's help for this because this is a bit warm. Here we go. <gasps> Do you see what's happening? Do you see the hot water is rising to the top? It's not sinking low. This water is still clear. And this water up here, it's actually more like a yellow, but we'll just call it orange we know that we made it orange. And now orange is not going to the bottom. So the hot water is at the top and the cold water is at the bottom. The heat rises. Isn't that pretty neat? What do you think will happen if I stir it with my chopstick? Do you think it'll all mix together or do you think it'll stay separated? Well, let's try. I'm making music. Let's see. Oh, it looks like it all mixed together with the help of my chopstick. Interesting, you can choose any color. I just want it to look kind of like hot lava. It's kind of fun, right? Lava, two syllables. Okay, so today, I would love for you to try this activity. See how it works for you. It's fun to mix colors, it's fun to see how different things react, right? And you can do it all by talking like a robot, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow, and I think we're gonna explore a little bit more with volcanoes. I know that's always fun. Who doesn't love science and volcanoes? I do. Okay, see you tomorrow, mwah.